Houston Texans, I'm blacking you out. The Atlanta Falcons, I am blacking you out. Washington, I'm blacking you out. Dallas Cowboys, I'm blacking you out. Titans, I'm blacking you out. 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 NFL, we're blacking you out. In 2016, NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick engaged in a silent, non-violent protest. Colin Kaepernick simply decided to take a knee during the playing of the national anthem at NFL games. He did this to kind of raise awareness to the number of brown and black individuals that had been beaten or killed at the hands of law enforcement across this country. Since the end of last season, as a result of this protest, Colin Kaepernick has been unable to find employment in the NFL. I find that strange seeing that the NFL has employed individuals that have been convicted of sexual assault, domestic violence, cruelty to animals, along with driving while under the influence. A number of NFL owners have come out and stated the reason they can't employ him is because of a fear of a backlash from sponsors or a certain segment of their fan base. And it's interesting that they've capitulated thus far to a certain segment of the fan base while fearing no backlash from the African-American community. The African-American community makes up 15% of the NFL's overall viewership. And I find it interesting that they've made the calculation that states that even though they're going to silence one who stood up for values that have meaning to us, they have an expectation that African-Americans are still going to be there on opening day watching and patronizing their product. My belief is simply this. If Colin Kaepernick was willing to take a stand for those of us who are non-celebrities that would have to interact with law enforcement on a day-to-day -day basis, if he's willing to take a knee for us, certainly we ought to take a stand and stand with him. I think it's important that we take some action steps. As long as Kaepernick is without a job, we refuse to watch the NFL, we refuse to purchase any NFL paraphernalia endorsed by the NFL, and we refuse to engage in fantasy football. As a church community, we commit one to two hours each Sunday for the next 17 weeks of football to pour in to our African-American boys and girls. We will do this whether he is employed or not. Let's take the time that would normally be given to the NFL and give back to our boys and girls. Spread the word to other men that we speak the language that the NFL responds to, money. Let us make it clear that since our lives matter so little to them, their product will matter even less to us. We take a knee as Kaepernick did. We devote this season to prayer each morning, 6 a.m. for our youth, communities, local and government officials. This is not a boycott, but a mancott, because this demonstration is not for boys, it's for men of strong conviction. Now we want you to know this protest is not anti-flag because people of color love the Stars and Stripes. It is not anti-American because people of color have loved this country even when this country has not loved us back. And this protest is not anti-veteran because we support those who have made sacrifices so that our liberties have been secured. This protest is to ensure the rights of all Americans, regardless of color or creed, to be heard. Together we stand united against discrimination in all its forms. We're making a call to people of conscience, regardless of race, religion, or creed, who are able to recognize injustice and join us in this blackout. It is a call to all pastors, leaders, and churches not just to look at what's happening as a black problem, but as an American problem. We black out hatred. We mourn for our brothers and sisters in Charlottesville, Virginia. We pray for the healing of that community along with the healing of our nation. Up through 2014, the NFL had what they call blackout policies. When a stadium in a particular city had failed to sell out all of its tickets, they would black out the game so it couldn't be shown on that local market. They would force the fans to the stadium to buy the tickets. Today, we're forcing the hands of the NFL. We're saying that there are some values that we have that matter and they count. And so NFL, we want you to know that we're gonna black you out. I'm making a call to pastors, 
leaders, my brothers, all people of conscience, regardless of your race or your background, to join us in this blackout. I'm gonna be clear that I'm a football fan. I played it most of my life growing up and there's rarely a Sunday that I've missed in my adult years. But there comes a point in time where I've gotta prioritize my convictions more than my entertainment value. And let me be clear that this thing is bigger than Colin Kaepernick. He took a stand for an issue that's uniquely valuable to African Americans. But tomorrow, it could be your liberties, your perspective, your worldview that's at stake. He is symbolic of all of us. Join 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 us. We're going to black you out. You're on the clock.